Beer here costs 55 crowns. Let's call that $2.50 to round it up. Okay. If you go to a stadium, to a sports event here in Prague, it's going to cost around $3. Sure. Well, nothing like that in US. If you go to a pub, it may cost five, six dollars. And you go to five dollars for a beer stadium and it can cost 10, 15, even 20 dollars. No chance. 20 dollars. No, how true is that? <laughs> no, for real. Twenty dollars. Today I will be reacting to USA vs Europe Guide to Cultural Difference. Well, I'm European. I guess I can share my perspective on this one. But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like, thank you so much, my friend. This is the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, well, in that case. Forget about it, you make my day, have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description. You guys end up suggesting this one a lot. Let's play it. Hey there, we are guides okay. from Prague, Czech Republic, and this is one of our favorite pubs. Okay. But somebody just recently left a nasty review complaining about the fact that the waiter simply asked them, you want a beer? The waiter brought the beer, and then once Good. the person was finished, they brought another beer. And this guy was complaining about it. What is he talking about? That's the best thing. Once you're finished with your beer, they bring another one. Oh, they do uh, this so here also. From the perspective of a Czech European, that's a good sign. For an American, that may be kind of weird or rude. So today we want to talk about <laughs> cultural differences between... Okay, okay. That was a great start. Let me say one thing. This happens here, not in all coffee shops or uh, bars, but... Uh, it happens, and um, it's kind of normal, yeah. I thought this was also normal in America, I have to be honest. <laughs> in our country, our city, and United States of America. Okay. First of all, you may be surprised what the beer looks like. Well, we have a video dedicated only to that. And second, when I walked in, I didn't look at a beer menu or something that may be quite common in the United States, where you have different beers on tap. Most pubs and restaurants in Czech Republic will have one brewery on tap in the pub. So on tap, yeah, this is true. It is exactly the same, by the way. Actually, I visit, uh, I would say, a good amount of countries in Europe, but I never went to Czech Republic. Uh, but I would love to go one day. That's why you can walk in and just say, I'll have one. So I kind of like that. You walk into a pub and you don't have a million choices. You just say one. In US, not only you have a choice of beers that are on tap, quite often there's 5, 10, 20, but also they will ask you, do you want draft or bottle? What kind of question is that? What? The reason you go to a pub is to get beer on tap, to get draft <laughs> beer. If you want bottled beer, you go to a supermarket. So for us, that's a big cultural <laughs> difference that quite often... Okay, to be honest, you can ask here a bottled beer. Sometimes because you do not like the brand that there is on the, on the, um, on the tap. But uh, it's kind of rare, so I kind of agree with him. You don't understand. Now a beer here costs 55 crowns, let's call that $2.50 to round it up. Mm, okay. If you go to a stadium, to a sports event here in Prague, it's going to cost around $3. Sure. Well, nothing like that in US. If you go to a pub, it may cost five, six dollars, and you go to- Five dollars for a beer. It could be, honestly, even uh, one dollar, it will be rare nowadays, but uh, could be two dollars, very easy. A stadium and it can cost 10, 15, even 20 dollars. No chance, 20 dollars. No, how true is that? <laughs> no, for real, 20 dollars. Oh, but that's uh, very specific, like like he was explaining. I love America and I, I want to go really bad, but uh, I'm not paying 20 dollars for a beer, my friends. <laughs> no, Zaha hates it. Whenever he goes to a sports event, he's always shocked with the price of the beer. I myself, what? when I travel to US, I usually don't go to uh, sports events, but I like amusement parks. And just recently, I visited Universal Studios. Oh, that, that it was can the be most amazing. expensive beer I ever had in my life. $15. I could not believe it. Now, oh my God, that, that's shocking to me, my friends. $15 for a beer. How true is this, actually? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I understand that going to amusement park, you don't go there for beer, you go there for the rides, but still $15? Of course, but still, yeah. Dude, it was insane! Why did I do that? Also, fun fact, I did not take... <laughs> well, come on, let's be real. America is such an amazing place that if I had to take one for the team, you know, yeah, let's give me a beer for $15 or 20 
I, I cannot have more than five or ten or I'm broke. That's the thing. But uh, yeah, I will do a it. picture of the beer, but I did take a picture of the receipt. Now, the price of the beer, as I said, at the amusement park was 50. Oh, this is the tax. Of, oh, it was even more than <laughs> Come on, this is amazing, <laughs> in a weird way. $15, but I was asked to pay more than $16. Okay. Why? It said 15. Well, tax was not included. <laughs> what is this about? We go to... Look, no joke, I'm very thankful that I started reacting to, to, to this type of feeds because this is one thing that I'm already aware of. And 100% uh, I would be caught by surprise if I never watched the... Uh, if I never created this channel, basically. ...to a place, and I'm not only talking restaurants, but any store, shop, and the price tag is the final price you pay. It's at 55 yeah. here, it's gonna cost 55. <laughs> they include the tax. Why don't you do that in US? It's just sad. Eh, I would not say it's sad. I mean, I think, okay, he's going a bit f too far here. But uh, it's kind of the rules, right? Is And every state have their own rules, so their own tax. I don't know. It's confusing for sure, but sad. I mean, this is going a bit too far. I mean, imagine me. I'm 11 years old. I have my first dollar ever. And I walk into a dollar store looking forward to buy something for a dollar. <laughs> I pick up the item, go to the register, uh, dollar fifty. I'm like, what? It's a dollar <laughs> store. Everything costs a dollar, not dollar store plus tax. Come on, it would never be a dollar fifteen, right? That the tax is is never uh, this big. But uh, yeah, I, I get this point. Now let's switch from drinks to food. In any place, you can get some food, right? Uh, yeah. Mostly, you pick something from the menu, and no further questions will be asked. Oh, that looks well in the U.S. Quite often, they will ask you how you want to customize. Do you want bacon? Do you want that? Oh cheese? yeah. Do you want this cheese? Do you want this or that and that? Uh, all of and that. That's quite confusing for us. And you can imagine me being 11 years old in the US, in New Jersey, first walking to a restaurant, ordering a burger, very much looking forward to it. And they asked me, how do you want your burger done? I said, I don't know, very well. yeah, well done, basically. Do it well. Well done, thinking that they would <laughs> yeah. make it completely. Yeah, you can imagine what happened. They brought this black piece of oh, meat that was- Oh no, unpacked. okay. And all my friends had a laugh about it. Now, to be fair, if you go to a restaurant in Prague nowadays uh, and you will have a burger, they will ask you how you... No, they ask for this, but uh, the example he gave there, it was related in McDonald's, right? I never, in McDonald's here, they never ask how do you... Mm. Okay, is this true again, my friends? I was not aware of this also. It's crazy that I react to so many videos similar to this one and there is a lot of stuff that surprises me. So I have to say I went to my burger medium at McDonald's. That's a bit weird, I have to admit. You want it done. If I go to a specific restaurant for burgers, you know, that is not fast food, I get it. That That's fine. But uh, fast food, I thought was more standard, you know what I mean? But once again, the, the fact that you can customize anything at a restaurant in the US is very uncommon for us here. So if I you like come it. to a pub or a restaurant in Czech Republic, don't expect that you can customize every single item on the menu. That's why there's a menu with things that you pick from. I really hope we didn't lose our subscribers from the United States. We love you guys. Uh, so to uh, say something that we consider to be amazing in the US that we don't have here is water. Free water at a restaurant, at a bar, anywhere. You sit down at a table, and in US, you get a glass of water. Never happens in the Czech Republic, ever. <laughs> Not only that, if you ask for tap water, quite often they will say, no, 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 we don't serve tap water. And uh, so this, this can be different from my country, I guess. Either if you ask for tap water, they... They bring... I mean, I'm not sure if all the places will do it, but a lot of places will. You will get a tiny little bottle of water that you will pay for two, three, four dollars. It's ridiculous. I know a restaurant where I go to and I will always say, can I get uh, tap water? And they're like, no, we can't do that. We can only sell you a bottle. And I quite often say, I'll pay you the same price that I'll pay for the bottle for tap water. But no, we can't do that. Crazy.
Now let's talk about service in restaurants and pubs because that Much may be in a bit of a shock for you when you come to Prague. Uh, yes, quite often it is rude and not polite at all. That's also a huge difference for us when we go to US and um, a waitress will come to our table and she will introduce No, 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 no. Oh my God, if this happens here. <laughs> Okay, that's crazy. I mean, I think th this is a joke for sure, right? But um, I also, okay, I think uh, we all like to, to use stereotypes and saying that uh, in Europe, this type of service will be r rude. I think it's a stereotype. It's the same thing as saying that Americans are fat or something. I think that makes no sense. Uh, yes, maybe you are uh, <laughs> unlucky and maybe if you do the ratio, you know what I mean? Maybe there is some truth, but um, I, I'm very well uh, received at restaurants here in Portugal. Very well, I mean, and I don't tip because that's not even normal here. So, I don't know. I, I, I think we all like to do this stereotype stuff, but uh, it's not the, 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 the entire picture. Introduce herself and she will smile and she will maybe recommend something from the menu. That would never happen here. I mean, it's changing, don't get me wrong. Uh, service is getting it better. Happens, yeah. But if you go to like a local place, a dive bar, which I would consider this place to be, quite often they'd be grumpy and it takes a long time for them to get to know you. And after maybe a 20th visit, they will share a little smile with you. Not like in US, first time visitor. Oh, I love seeing coming you to our restaurant. My name is Bendy, <laughs> can I take your order? <laughs> Hi, Bendy. Speaking of Wendy, when I was first called Darling or Honey in a restaurant in the US, I was like, they, she really loves me. She just called me Darling. <laughs> I like that. I, mean, I, I actually, I wonder if some Europeans, and let's say in this case, specific men go to, to a restaurant and they think that maybe she is into me or something because the, the, the culture shock will be so big. I don't know. I like the bartender here, but he never calls me Darling. I, I, let's let's make it stay that way, okay? okay? We're tough guys. Even though the two of us consider the service at places in the United States very good and very nice and very polite, there is one thing that we consider to be very rude. Tell and us. that is, you're finishing your meal or maybe you're halfway through and suddenly a bill lands on your table. What is that? Are you kicking me out? That would never happen here. Any business, restaurant, Wait, is this true again? Eh? <laughs> Wait, if I'm eating, they already give... Oh, yeah, I would feel a lot of pressure, to be honest. Uh, I think this would make more sense if, okay, if, if you are like two hours already or something, uh, uh, eating your meal and just shutting and being very slow. That I can even understand. Uh, oh, but if I go with my family, all of, all of a sudden, yeah, Bill, pay it. Hey, relax. <laughs> okay. Oh. Pub coffee place tries to keep you in the place as long as possible. You're done with your meal, they'll offer you a dessert. You're done with your dessert, they will offer you coffee. You're done with. I, I thought this was the same in America, my friends. Your coffee may be. Is this guy speaking facts or. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm. <laughs> this one, I have Americans in such high regard that I, I don't know if I believe this. You want to start over and have another appetizer. In other words, they want to keep you in as long as possible. You have to ask for the bill. In US, very often, you're halfway through, here's your bill. I'm like, well, maybe I want another something. No, 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 the bill is already on the table. Okay, but they don't kick you out. It's just weird. Speaking of the bill, let's dive... But they can, they are telling you something, right? Yeah, that is the bill. Out. <laughs> into tipping and that can create some uh, big issues because that's a big cultural difference. In US quite often we get asked do you want to tip 15, 18, 20, 25 percent which for us is like whoa that's a lot a quarter of the bill just tips uh, because it's a tip based country or tip based business. In Czech, that used to be very, very different. I mean, my dad would only round up the bill to the next higher number. If the bill was 99, he would round it up to 100. I believe most yeah. of our dads and mothers still do that. 
Nowadays, it's changing even here and tipping goes from 10% higher if you're satisfied with the service. If the service is really bad... Uh, oh, tipping is still not very popular here. Uh, fancy restaurants, yeah, but uh, the cheap ones, no. Um, the thing with this is, at this point, I actually I like the tipping, if that even makes sense, because uh, it seems like the service becomes quite better than the one we have here, and I was saying that was a stereotype, but I believe in general the service is better. That some people will simply not tip. If that would happen in the US, that you would not leave a single cent on a tip, I've experienced people running out the restaurant and be like, what happened? What did we do wrong? Like, why did you not tip? So tipping is very, very different. And I'm curious what you will uh, say about that in the comments. Where, whatever country you're from, I want to read. One thing, my friend. So the only acceptable time for not tip if the meal was bad or the service was really bad, something like that, right? Is that acceptable to not tip? Or even in that case, you have to tip? What's the average tipping in your country? Now, this cultural difference is not only huge, but is, I consider it to be evil. And that is packaging and garbage in general. I'm not talking about if you go to a place where it's a takeout or you go to a fast food. Yes, they put it in a paper bag, either if you're in US or here. But I'm talking about if you go to a restaurant and they create so much garbage, so much waste, even though you're at a restaurant. Quick example. Mostly if you get a drink at a bar in the US, they put a napkin under it. So okay. it soaks the moist that's running under it. Well, that's for one use only. Afterwards, they will throw away the napkin. How about they use coasters? Oh, you guys because don't you have can those. Reuse the coaster. And that's just one very simple example. Another one is if you order a ketchup at this place, they will bring it either a bottle, some places in the US do that too, or they put it in a um, ceramic cup that they clean afterwards. Mm -hmm. Not that they grab 20 ketchups and throw them next to your <laughs> burger. Or even in McDonald's in Czech Republic, you pay for every single tiny packaging of any sauce. Oh, any ketchup. no, 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 so no. So you no, think no, about no. if you want one or two. Okay, th this is not true. The, you don't pay for ketchup here at McDonald's. I know because I, <laughs> I go to McDonald's say <laughs> often. In US? Oh uh, yeah, can I get some ketchup? Here you go, here's a million ketchups in tiny little bags. No, don't do that. I mean, you guys are going all Michael Bay packaging. Like, hey, yeah, that's a plastic bag. Let's put it in a paper bag and let's put more packaging and pack it up. You want it to go? Yeah, let's pack it up more. I'm Ooh. so confused because uh, I, okay, I'm enjoying the video, but I'm not sure if a lot of things here are actually true. I'll trust you quite more. Tell me, because <laughs> you are American, most likely watching me. So tell me in the comments what do, do no, let's say something that I'm saying is not true or not true. Basically that I do not believe you can tell me that that's actually true. Feel free to tell me that, but also feel free to correct the, the video if you, if you think, yeah, that makes no sense. In the meanwhile in Europe. Yeah, let's let's get rid of plastic straws. They really destroy the universe. <laughs> to be honest, I like it, plastic straws. There's gonna be one hell of a discussion under this video. I absolutely love you guys from US and I love going to US, just so you know, we both do. Please don't cancel my ESTA. Now let's drop the beer for a minute and let's talk about coffee and coffee culture differences between USA and Europe. Triggered okay. already? Well, you'll get triggered more. Yes, in Europe, we... I think this is one of the things that we do it a bit better than you guys. I could be wrong, but I think coffee in Europe is really good. We do not consider this to be a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, this is impossible to almost... There is Starbucks, I believe, in Lisbon, but this... Me, no. Coffee, that's a gallon of coffee. But it's probably really good because uh, a lot of sugar, I'm assuming. If it's more than a gallon, it's not coffee. This is a cup of coffee. By the way, shocker, they... <laughs> no, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, this is crazy because I just had one. <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee in this pup. Uh, it's served in a ceramic cup. It's this size. Yeah. You have a plate <laughs> under it. It makes that little noise when you put I, it down. I... So I, I'm at home and this was for me. I did not um, took the, the plate, but yeah, this also have a plate and sometimes even a, um, this this is not the case, but sometimes you have one that you can put even the, the spoon. 
You sometimes even get a spoon with it so you can mix your little <laughs> espresso. And this is how you drink it. Not a gallon. Doesn't fit in your car so you can drive and sip on your little coffee soup throughout the day. Big difference, big shocker for us when we go to places in US and they think this is true, don't yeah. surf something like this. The, the coffee stuff could be true. Hold your horses. I know that coffee culture in the US is changing depending okay. on which state you live in, if you live in a city and so on. But still mostly people think this is coffee and you cannot get this. It's but it's difficult to get a coffee like this in America. Would I struggle to get a coffee like this? I wonder. Sad for us Europeans. Can I get a cup of coffee? You want Venti Grande, Grande XL, Grande XXXXL. Like the Italians drinking. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now this next cultural difference may sound weird, but I believe it should be addressed. And that is restrooms and toilet sizes. Uh, right. in restaurants and pubs. And I'm not talking about the actual seat size, but I'm talking about you have a big pub and there's one toilet. There's like one restroom for the entire pub where there's like hundreds of people. And the stalls where you can like sit to do number two it's are very one. like see-through. Like there's no uh, that, privacy. That's crazy. <laughs> like there's no door at the bottom. <laughs> like if somebody peeks, they can see you. Yeah, it's kind of strange. And girls talk about that a lot. Both are girls. Look, in a weird way, I find all of this fascinating. And uh, I know if you guys come to Europe, you guys will also have some culture shocks that you guys, that you guys may think, yeah, this makes no sense. But at the end of the day, right, that's what makes the, the experience great. Girls talk about it, how like it's kind of weird that people can't really uh, see you. So that's a big difference. If there's a big pub here, it has many restrooms, many toilets. Uh, this is true. And it can you know, uh, Most do of the, the business people need and accommodate many people at the same time. And of course, the ones we mentioned are not the only cultural differences between our continents. There's many more. We can talk about uh, different units. We can talk about different forms of transportation, how we move around cities and countries, how big are our cars and your cars, and many more topics. So let us know in the comments if you want us to cover more topics. And while you're there, please don't be mad at us. This was not made to insult you, only to give you perspectives on our culture habits and your cultural habits that we experience when we go over to your lovely continent that we love to visit. But sometimes we're just like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> We're the honest dudes from Prague. Okay. That dude's name is Honza. My name is Yannick. We go by Great the video. Honest Guide, our channel full of content. So if you're planning to come to Prague, Europe, uh, check out our videos. We do scams. To be honest, this seems a beautiful. Oh man, what's going games. on? We show you beers. <laughs> we show you. This seems a, a beautiful um, place to visit Prague. That's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Really enjoyed this one. It's always a pleasure this time, the time you guys spend with me. Uh, this culture difference, uh, I know sometimes people may feel offended in one side versus, eh, at the, I, I like it, you know, because um, if America was exactly like Europe, I would not would, would want to go to, to America. And I think this first uh, logic also applies here. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.